So as a data scientist, do you eat your own dog food? Don't worry, Hickory. I'm, I'm not act not even for a million views. Will I eat your dog food? There you go. Good boy. And he's out of here. So what do I mean by eat your own dog food? I mean, is this an American saying? Do you say this in other countries as well? Let me know in the comments. What it means is, do you use your own stuff? Do you code things that you actually use in your day-to-day -day life? I mean, we are data scientists. We are machine learning engineers. We make the world better for millions, billions probably. But do you make the world better for yourself? Side projects are certainly a way that you can build your own skill set. I've been doing this forever, since I was in high school when dinosaurs roamed the earth. I have several, I guess you'd call them side projects, that I use actively in my day-to-day -day life. I want to show you some of these real quickly so that you can get an idea of possibly some things that you can do yourself. I also want to open the dialogue. Do you have code as data scientists, as machine learning engineers, that you make use of frequently? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see what you use this own technology for in your day-to-day -day knife. Now, if you're a startup or something like that, that's that's easy. You're, you are creating these models to rule the world one day. So let's talk about a couple of the ones that I have. And I pulled you guys before, and you told me that one of the things that you were interested in from this channel or more advanced machine learning projects. So let me know if one of these strikes your fancy because this might become a series in the future. Most of these are just things that I use myself and I have not really released the code yet for. The first is my book generator. So you've probably seen that I have a book available for the deep learning class that I teach. It is paperback. You can purchase it from Amazon. You can also buy the Kindle edition. Well, where does this actually come from? Well, all of my course material is on GitHub, and I'm not going to sit there and maintain two, three sets of code. I've written a Python program that takes my GitHub repository, so long as it's in a format that I've specified, and churns out a PDF that can be used for a paperback book, and also a ebook format that can be read into the Amazon store for Kindle. This is a pretty advanced package that I put together. There's other packages out there that will create ebooks, certainly, but they really did not give the finished sort of book quality that I wanted. And this generates all LaTeX. So the output from my program is LaTeX, and then that goes straight into all the publishing uh, pipelines that LaTeX can be used for. The next one is also related to, to my course, and it is my autograder. So this one I actually do use machine learning for because it takes in the assignments that students are given. So they, they are given a template that they begin the assignment with. They add the Python code to it to complete the assignment in my deep learning course, and then they run it and it submits it to a URL. You see the URL here in the source code. This is actually a Python program, a couple of them, that I have running on an AWS Lambda, so it's exposed on an API. It's got the appropriate authentication. It takes their submission in, does some statistical analysis on it, basically an anomaly detection, and lets them know how well they've done ahead of them actually submitting it for full grading. If they have submitted it perfectly, if it decides that it's fine, it actually interfaces into the Washington University Canvas learning management system and puts the grade right into the, the system so that they can see their, their grade immediately. If it's not so good, then I manually grade it. So it's it only is allowed to give perfect scores or subtract late points if somebody submits something perfectly but late. I deal with where people have missed the mark and give them the appropriate grade. The other one that I use in conjunction with many of the projects that I've done here on this website is our website YouTube channel is 
my Python image processor. This is just a collection of routines that I've written that do things like scraping Flickr or moving images all into a consistent size like I've done for StyleGAN and others. This is certainly one that I could develop further. Um, probably one of the next things I'll do is labeling for images so that you can very quickly go through them and label what each particular image is. And then the, the final one that I, that I have used much is it's a stochastic simulation that I run. I use this for my own investing. Now, I am not at all a day trader. I am completely passive investor, sort of the millionaire next door type of person, boring as dirt in terms of how I select what I actually invest in. But for a lot of the tax modeling, like, do I want to pay taxes on this now? Do I want to pay taxes on this later? Because in the, in the U.S., we've got all these kinds of accounts that you can use. Like, do you want to, do you want to pay taxes on the money now and then never pay them again? Or do you want to pay taxes when you pull it out? I run stochastic Monte Carlo simulations basically just to let me know the balance that I want to to do with all of these, and then just kind of allocation of, of assets, really. So those are the four dog foods that I produce and I eat. And by the way, no, not for a million views would I eat one of, one of Hickory's pieces of kibble. And I'm so glad I missed my camera with that. So let me know in the comments, are there any of these that you would find interesting? Are there other projects that I should take on that you might find interesting? Because like, I, like you told me in the poll, you would like to see more complicated machine learning projects from this. And what projects do you work on that you find useful in your day-to-day -day life? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel so you don't, you don't miss any of these awesome projects as we get into them. And if this video is useful, definitely give me a like. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.